We developed Boundless Brilliance to inspire girls to have the confidence to pursue anything that they set their mind to, especially futures in STEM. Our mission is to deliver short presentations to classes of elementary school students to energize the girls, to embrace their brilliance, challenge their reservations, and realize their potential in STEM. When I was in middle school and high school, I competed in science competitions. And every time we went somewhere, I would look around for the other female competitors. And there were so few of us compared to all the other male competitors. In January of this year, a study was published in Science Magazine that stated that girls as young as six years old were already starting to believe that their intelligence was inferior to their male counterparts. Six years old, we thought, we had to do something to address this. So elementary school students are at a really unique developmental age, and this is where they're starting to learn how to learn, and discovery is a big part of STEM. Our experiences in science and math classes, research labs, and workplaces have proven to us that there's an urgent need for a program that addresses systemic sexism in STEM fields. As a woman of color in a STEM field, I find it challenging to find my footing and also navigate a field that seems so hostile to diversifying itself. Well, I'm certain that diversity in STEM is important um, because the diversity of ideas enriches uh, the sciences both in terms of scientific production and scientific consumption. And I think the mission of Boundless Brilliance is entirely consistent with my idea of not accepting any artificial limitations to the potential of scientists. Each presentation is 30 minutes in length and contains interactive activities, empowering dialogues, and a collaborative science experiment. Our experiments emphasize teamwork, the scientific method, and learning from your mistakes. In the presentation, we asked the class if they ever get questions wrong in class because we want to reiterate that it's okay to make mistakes and getting things wrong is a big part of the learning process. We have a variety of science experiments that we've developed with our team of over 30 Occidental College students. These experiments range anywhere from a bioluminescence game with flashlights to an engineering project where we challenge the students to build model bridges. Well, Science for me has always been something that's hard to teach mm -hmm. because there's so much involved in it. But you guys are in the field, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm out of the field, <laughs> but I'm teaching, you know, the basic concepts. So it's nice to see that hands-on participation and also bring other people in to excite my students about science because I get excited about science. The reason I joined this organization um, was to show women that they are just as qualified and just as intelligent. And I think that's important that everyone knows that. Why I became a teacher was to encourage everyone that they have a talent and they have the potential to do whatever they want. Because it's important for girls to see that, yes, it's possible for them at this young age, because this is the foundation when they get excited and they can choose to do what they want to do. So having you as role models is just so important, you know? I mean, I... What do you believe after our presentation? Will you say that one more time a little louder and a little prouder? I believe that I'm brilliant. If you'd like Boundless Brilliance to come to your classroom or extracurricular organization, please contact oxyboundlessbrilliance at gmail.com. We're also seeking funding to turn our vision into a reality. Funding would go towards supplies for science experiments, transportation to local elementary schools, and our I Am Brilliant stickers that we give to students after our presentation. So if you're able, please donate to our GoFundMe linked below. Thank you to everyone who has and continues to support us.